Good day. My name is Kevin Connolly. I'm an environmental specialist senior with the Air Quality Bureau at Iowa DNR. Today, we're going to show you how to create an account as a responsible official for Easy Air. One of the resources you can use is this document, which is found on our eAir Services website. And we will be going through this step by step in Easy Air. The first thing is to get to the Easy Air website, as shown. And we're going to assume that you have already gone through the, start, the getting started section of the page and determined that you need to create a new account. So you'll click on this link and the system will come up with giving you the screen to create your general information. You put in your first name and last name. And a suggested username will be shown in this box. You can set this to be whatever you want. You can make this your email address. However, that then ties this account specifically to an email address and we really don't uh, recommend that process. It can be done, however. Put in your employer, your title or position, where you can be contacted, the city and zip. Put in your primary phone number. And your email is required. Any field with a red star is required. If you wish to receive text messages about your applications, enter your mobile phone number, select the checkbox, and select your mobile provider. When that is completed, click the next button. There are two types of users in Easy Air, a preparer and a responsible official. This means that user management falls on the responsible official as there's no intermediary administrator account. Select responsible official for your account group. Submittal group, select one or both of the construction or Title V group that you will be working with. As soon as you select one or the other or both, you will get this associate facility dialog box. Click, click on the associate facility button and you will get a search screen. If you put in a partial name or a full facility number, you will get a better chance of a positive search result. If I select easy, I get two facilities that say easy. If I say easy air, then it gets more specific and limits your res results. When you do get your one or more facilities showing on the screen, you need to select the facility number for each of them. And here on the right, these are the application types that you will be working with and submitting for each of your facilities. You can select all of them or individually and select okay. You receive a confirmation pop-up. So make sure that you allow pop-ups for this program. Select okay. Your choices have been saved successfully and you close. You now see that all of your selections are here, including all of the construction and the title files. Select next. 
This is the security section of the application, which will make sure that you as the responsible official are the only one who can submit applications. There are five questions. Within each question, there are five selections. Grab one of the selections that uh, is meaningful to you, but difficult for others to guess. Uh, for our demonstration, we're gonna go with the last word of each question. Honey mood, okay. This is a not uh, recommended by the Air Quality Bureau. It is not very secure. Select next. You will then receive a CAPTCHA, which is a further security uh, result where you have to match the letters and numbers that you see on your screen. If you have a question or a problem with any one of the figures or you can select a new one. When you have done that, you will then proceed to identity proofing. There are two options with uh, the e-verify option, the, the Bureau recommends that you follow this. However, with the test account, uh, I'm not able to do that. So we will proceed with the ESA option. For the how to get the e-verify option, we again suggest going to the account registration document. We'll proceed with the ESA option. You have successfully created your account. Check your email for a temporary password. You will need to print out and sign the subscriber agreement and mail it to this address. This is what it will look like. has all of your information, has all of your facilities will be listed here, as well as all of the application types. Sign and date it and mail it to the address at the bottom of the page. When you've done that, if you wish to send it to us faster, scan this document and email it to the Easy Air help desk and I'll sh show you that email address right here, easyair at dnr.iowa.gov. Then you would go back to log in. Here's where you would use your username and the password When you have uh, entered your temporary password, you will be given the uh, box to uh, set a new password. This is a minimum of 10 characters long, alpha numeric, that's uh, both uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and special characters. You'll need to ver confirm your password. And then enter a PIN. Again, this is necessary as a responsible official. You have to provide this to submit your permit applications. This is the four digits and only four digits. When you have completed that, you have successfully created your account in Iowa Easy Air. The next section that you may go to would be to manage consultants and preparers, and that is shown in another video.
Thank you. If you have any questions, contact the information shown here.